Invoiced items in USIS may be pulled automatically onto the EIS pending file. On the second screen of USACON, the Equipment Inventory System and the EIS pending threshold flags are used to add invoiced items to the EIS pending file. The EIS pending threshold field allows the district to enter the minimum dollar amount an item should meet in order to be pulled into the pending file. If the item amount is less than the threshold, the item will not be pulled into the pending file. The EIS pending threshold amount is usually lower than the EIS capitalization threshold amount set in the EIS DAT screen program. The reason being, districts want to track non-capitalized items in EIS too. Going back to the Equipment Inventory System flag, it has three options. Clicking on the Help key will display the options. N states that the district isn't using EIS. The EIS column on the USAS Web AP Invoice module will not be displayed. Y states it will automatically pull PO items with the 500, 600, or 700 object code and that meets the pending threshold amount onto the pending file. The EIS column on the AP Invoice module will default to yes. The user has the option of changing it to no for any items it does not want to pull into the pending file. You will notice this in this example that item 1 is a 600 object code and item number 2 is a 500 object code. These both along with the encumbered amount which exceeds the pending threshold will be pulled onto the EIS pending file. A states it will automatically pull PO items with 600 or 700 object codes and that meet the pending threshold amount. The EIS column on the AP invoice module will default to yes for 600 and 700 object codes and no for any other objects. Again, the user has the option to change the value in either, to either include or exclude certain items from the pending file. You will notice in my examples here that item 1 is a 600 along with the encumbered amount exceeds the threshold and will be included, but you will notice that item number 2 is a 500. Because I selected A, it will not include any 500, but again, if I choose to include this, I will have to change this to yes. The pending file can be accessed via EIS Screen's pending program. Pending allows you to view as well as delete items on the pending file. You are not able to add or modify items in this program. If you would like to generate a report of your pending file, select the EIS 501 report through the EIS RPT menu. Enter your options and it will generate an EIS 501.txt report. 